morning, it's 8 o'clock in the morning on day two. Day two, what's the plans for today? Today we are going from Corby up to Inverness in Scotland. It's going to take us 10 hours, 24 minutes and will be approximately be 495 miles. And uh, that's just for Saturday. Time now is quarter past 11 a.m. This is day two of travelling, where we have gone from from Corby, where we stayed, and today we will be doing this journey from Corby all the way up the Midlands, Middlesbrough, Edinburgh, Perth, Dundee, Inverness. So pretty much most of Great Britain. up to Doncaster. We were on the A1. As far as A-Rose go, that was the one. The guys at the front are looking very worried. Why is that, guys? We're last. Hopefully, this isn't the A630. Doncaster. We're in Doncaster. We're in the middle of Doncaster. I don't know how we've ended up here. I've got some things. What county are we in? County? Yeah. Yorkshire. Really? This is the power of that 1.6 litre engine, 1,598 cc's of raw arthritis. <laughs> okay, we've gone through Middlesbrough, and we've certainly gone through Doncaster. Our time on this one is 2.23, and we're now getting to Newcastle. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a detour from our usual A road that we're on now, the A19. So on here, it just looks like we go left into Newcastle, out the top, and then out towards the west. Switch over to this map, and it looks like this. How on earth am I gonna try and navigate through that? I just don't know. We have taken this turning here into Washington, which will take us beneath Gateshead, not through it. We will be taking it round and uh, through the uh, Burley, and then uh, up through the middle of the page here in the crease, and then around uh, here. And what oh, made me feel seasick? We're going to go around this road here. Ah, uh, lost my page. Around there, oh, where are we? <laughs> yeah, right there. And then we're gonna, at Gosfort, we're gonna go oof, up here, past Pontyland, which is a really <laughs> name. Angel of the North! There it is, all its glory. Time now is 2.52. We made it through Newcastle. It's very hot today. It's hot and humid today. Just past Newcastle. Yeah. Got my hazards on by accident. <laughs> uh, we're halfway through day two and already the trip is taking its toll on us. somewhere in Northumberland at the moment and this is why our journey has been delayed. He's a well trained dog actually. We are about to cross the border into Scotland and it is 400 feet above sea level and Nick's driving. The 
Scotland. Who? I think it's a bad kingdom right now. When he built the railway between London and Bristol, he built bridges over rivers and roads. And he built tunnels underneath hills. Yet, in Scotland, they seem to have just placed the road slap bang on top of all these hills and around them so that it's really windy as we go through them all. Lovely. You're right, Minx, they just didn't bother. Give it all it's got, Captain. <laughs> Is she going quick enough? No. And these roads go around so many corners that I've just lost my phone down the side of the car Did twice. Here we go, another one. <laughs> <sighs> Why can't the Scots build straight roads? Well, when they were cutting the trees down to make this road, they thought they might want to do a sensible pattern, but they thought, nah, let's just make the road go back on itself, just to pee off the horse and chariot and whatever else was in that period. I think the, uh, the manager of roads and planning was falling out with the uh, mayor or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just neg negotiated a route around Edinburgh, avoiding the M9 motorway. We've gone down here past um, a magnificent looking BP refinery. That's quite magnificent for word for it. It was huge. What do you think of the BP refinery, Mings? Really big and full of gas. The, the roads that we're supposed to be taking, ah, oh, this is this is not looking good. Okay, it's closed. Um, right. So the uh, the little bridge here that we were going to take is closed. So we're going to have to go down some minor back street roads through a village. Once we've gone through the, <laughs> meet up here. Are you serious, bro? Beep. They didn't hear that. Some Scottish kids just threw their football in the road. The, that bridge over there is the bridge that we should should have been on. Bridge is a bridge. Day two is complete, as you can hear. The kettle is on. We've done 517 miles today. Corby, all that to Inverness, which is where we're staying tonight, and that makes 1,001 miles in total. Happy? No, I don't. Tired? Look at what I have, I have See, sleep's not on the cards tonight for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 